Hey there, I'm working today in DaVinci Resolve 16, and I'm gonna just show you guys how to set up your VST instruments in Resolve. And so to get started, we need to go up here to the DaVinci Resolve menu in the upper left corner, and go ahead and go to Preferences. You can also hit Control Plus to get to this menu. There are some options that we wanna select on here, and we wanna go ahead to Audio Plugins. You're gonna see it here on the left side. It's about in the middle of the menu there. And so there's a couple of different things that we need to set. And one is the VST effects. We need to add our paths in for our VST instruments. So what you need to do is, is take a look where you installed your VST instruments. And some of the common ones are, you're gonna be under this X86 Steinberg VST plugins. Um, it's going to be Steinberg VST plugins. And, and I've got mine all over the place. You can see I've got them on different drives. And so you just wanna find those paths and go ahead and set them by hitting this add button here. And it's going to go ahead and open up this dialog box to look at windows. And you can go ahead and find your locations here. Like I said, Steinberg is a popular spot, VST plugins, and then you just hit select that folder. And once you have those, go ahead and hit save it's gonna give you this menu option. Your preferences have been updated. Hit okay. You're gonna to need to close down DaVinci Resolve. Go ahead and close that and then open it back up again. Okay, so then when you look at this menu again, preferences, you should see all your instruments loaded in into available plugins into this middle section here. And you can enable all, you can select the ones you wanna enable or go ahead and just use whatever's preset up so the best place for me to use the, the MIDI instruments and your VST instruments is the actual Fairlight tab. So what you want to do is go ahead down here to generators. We're going to need some footage in here. You can throw some video or just images on there. Or if you don't have something right there, just grab a solid color. Drop it in your project. Stretch this out if you want to make it longer. And then go ahead and go down here to the actual Fairlight tab. Okay, once you're in the Fairlight tab, let's take a look at this Fairlight options up here. Uh, this pull down will have a patch input output. We wanna make sure a couple of items are set. I like to set the main track out and then the audio out. Let's connect those. We're gonna patch the speakers to the main out, left and right. Go ahead and patch that. And then these should pick up your MIDI instruments. So. Uh, for example, um, under track input, we should have our MIDI instruments show up here. Let me demonstrate. And so we have this audio track one. I'm gonna go ahead and add a second track. Just right click on there, I'm gonna select the stereo track. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into audio track two. Select that track and I'm gonna hit effects here. Go to VST effects. And let's go ahead and I'm gonna choose FL Studio to get started here. And FL Studio can run as a VST instrument inside DaVinci Resolve, which is really cool. Um, so you can actually kind of layer things on because obviously, as you know, FL Studio is actually its own DAW. So you have this DAW running inside of your DAW, which is really mind blowing, but it actually works. So go to this upper right corner where you have this little keyboard icon, select the, the keyboard, and I usually just choose the Omni. And for FL Studio, you're gonna to need to click this little, um, little piece of fruit here. Not quite sure what that is. I've got two monitors here. I'm gonna drag my, my VST instrument right down into the main one so you guys can take a look at that. Let's shrink that down a little bit. And so we have the beats, we can do whatever we want. What I wanna do, I'm gonna go ahead and get started here. And I'm gonna add just, just basically some, some drums in here. And so I wanna add in some different instruments. And you can kinda of play them here to hear them. Kinda of sample each one, get what you want. So I like that one, it's really fast. So I'm gonna pull this one down into this drum track right here. And let's just go ahead and start playing this. So we got a little bit of a bass beat here. 
and we can add some snare on here. What do I like? I like the 808, that's a classic. We'll go ahead and throw it into track 11 there. And so you can go ahead and get a beat going, that's pretty nice. And so if we wanna go ahead and record this, I'm gonna go ahead and arm the, re the recording for track two by hitting this R button here. Make sure that is selected. You can run that beat as long as you want to run it. And I'm going to stop it there. So let's go ahead and play that back. You can see that we have the same beat that we used in FL Studio. Okay. Yeah, so following this guide, you guys will have access to all your VST instruments, and so you can put those into your projects. You can also add VST effects to any of your audio tracks, so that's a great addition as well. So make sure the VST instruments are set up uh, using the steps in this video, and if you have any questions or get stuck on that, please post them in the comments, and I'll try to help you get those answered. Otherwise, thanks again for watching. Take care.